Welcome to the version of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on Central Kansas. <laughs> All right, we got a couple things going on today. As you can probably tell, I have $559,000, uh, which is part and parcel to this guy right here doing his thing. He's currently set uh, set to unloading the bunker. Uh, and we unloaded, I unloaded this a little bit off camera, this bunker, and we still have uh, 90,000 liters left in this bunker, and this bunker we still have about 300,000 liters left, and he's still going at it. So this is the reason why we set it up with course play, just so it does this continuously, so you don't have to worry about it. You just set it and forget it, sort of speak. So uh, if you're wondering how to set this up with course play, I made a video showing you guys how to do that so check it out anyways so we got that going on today uh, we also got a canola harvest uh, so currently we got this canola that needs to be harvested right here as you can see it is just ready for the taking so to speak uh, so we get our combine started on this over here let's fire him up here let's put the steering wheel down here first there we go All right, so we got this guy started up, and uh, we're gonna do something a little bit differently. So, the original suggestion from people was to get um, a lot of people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A lot of people suggested that I get a field far, far away from home, uh, so I could do a little bit of ship uh, shipping, transporting. I guess is what it boils down to. Here, let me show you my dilemma. Right now. I only have $563,000, so I can only buy six or seven. That's it. Um, that gives you an idea. Four, I could buy soon, but not yet. So what I'm going to do is, this is what I've decided. Let me get this guy started up here first. Uh, first waypoint here, there we go. There we go. So. One moment. Apparently I can't think and do this at the same time. I have no idea why though. A little bit of chaff in the face. Yikes. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. Anyways, um, he should be okay now. Is he okay? Yes, there he is. Good. So, this is what I have decided. So, if you notice, uh, I can buy number, field number seven, which is this field right here, finally. So I was like, well, field number seven, it's not really that far away. So that's the unfortunate part. Field four is a little bit far away and field five or six, sorry, is a little bit far away, but not that far really. However, I noticed there's this bit of a gap between these two fields and I was like, well, that gap's not that big. Well, I didn't, it was, we could probably, you know, make this not a gap so it got me thinking I was like yeah we totally could do that we could totally just plow these two fields together um, that would give us another you know nice little chunk of field and we'll make it into one large field so basically if we do that we'll have a field the size of maybe 13 or 12 somewhere in that area so that is what we're going to do we're gonna plow the two fields together now unfortunately like I said I don't have enough money to buy uh, field 16 was the one I feel out. Field 16 or 17 was one of the ones I was going to buy, but they are 822,000 and 967,000. So, a little out of my budget at the moment. However, this field is not. So, we're going to go ahead and buy field 7, like so. So, now we have these two fields. So, we don't have a plow yet, but I was looking at some plows, seeing what we could get. Um, this Pottinger is an 8 furrow plow. Uh, but we don't only really need the plow for a short while, so I don't want to get anything too crazy. Uh, but that one's a little bit, you know, expensive. $34,000? Yeah, out of our price range. But this 5 furrow plow right here, which only requires 180 horsepower, technically, uh, we can definitely use. Um, this one's a 4 furrow, 5, 3, 2, 1, uh, Yep, that looks like the choice. I had another plow in here somewhere. Uh, I think it looked like... Actually, you know what? This plow actually, this actually works as a plow as well. FYI, if you've never used it before. I thought I had another plow in here somewhere. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, well. 
All right, we're gonna get the five for real ransom plow right here, like so. And it says we need what was the 180 was the uh, the weight 140 to 180 right in there. So we actually have a few tractors that could do that. We have this guy right here. Um, he could actually act as a plowing machine, I guess. Um, he could do it. Uh, that's one possibility. Um, we also could use the international, the, international, the New Holland over there. He could definitely work uh, as well. So those are our two possibilities. But because this guy's going to be unloading the combine, uh, I am going to use the New Holland, which is right here. Strangely enough, it already has a weight on the front. So let's go ahead and change this out. So this tractor actually has 240 horsepower. So let's take the weight off the back there. Apparently I needed, I decided to move that weight around the back of this tractor. I think it had something to do with the fact that uh, I needed to weigh it down. I, I don't know. I just put it there to keep it out of the way is what it boiled down to. There we go. And let's go get that five furrow plow and do some plowing. I haven't done plowing since the old family farm, actually. Now that I think about it, that's how long it's been since I've plowed something. So I figured, you know what? I can't buy a field that far away at the moment. So what I'll do instead is I'll make one big field, um, another one other big field, basically. So I figured, what? why not? Let's have some fun with it. This is Farming Simulator. We haven't done any plowing at all, so I figured let's do a little bit of plowing. And this guy's got 240 horsepower. Uh, the old New, Fo New Ford. <laughs> New Holland Ford. He should be more than capable enough to deal with this plow. I could theoretically use the case, but that's probably a little overkill for that size of plow. Um, based on what they're telling me in the information, at least. This plow is a... only needs 180 horsepower. Let's grab the plow right here. Perfect. Uh, that's a little... I don't think I've ever used this plow before. Now that I think about it. I've always used the other plows. So I'm going to be curious as to how this is going to work out. And I'm sure... I'm sure I'll get people telling me you're not plowing right. More than once. Oh, this one has a turn feature. I'll have to keep that in mind. Allow create fields. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna plow these two fields together. Um, <clears throat> I bought the field, so technically I could. Technically, I could. Um, I could cul not cultivate. I could harvest this field now as well. Yeah, maybe we'll do that actually, um, because I do own the field. Uh, let's make it so we're on this side and allow crate field. Yes So I'm gonna go ahead and do this while Our friend there is doing his thing. So let's see if we can line this up. I haven't plowed in such a long time I'm kind of nervous actually because I haven't done it in a while. And I think for these plows you need to Does it do they need to bite into the dirt? Yes, they do. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, this is real. okay, that's why. I was like, why is that so slow? Holy cow. There we go, nice. So, I figured, that's, I was figuring to myself, you're like, you know what? We should definitely bring these two fields together and have one big happy field as opposed to two smaller fields. So, that was the plan. I was like, I was thinking about it off camera. I was like, well, I really want to buy a field that's far away. But the problem I'm going to run into is the fact that I can't... I can't afford any of the fields that are far away. So I was like, well, what can I do that uh, that would work out well? And this is the solution I came up to, I came up with. I was like, yeah, we're gonna make sure we get a big field here. And then that'll, you know, at least work out in our favor because then we can use our big machines now on these two fields here. All right, so this is gonna be the tricky part here. Uh, there we go. Let's raise that up there. So I want to make sure you, I'm trying to try, quote unquote, uh, keep this field, or these two fields, as square as possible here. Um, that's the idea, at least. Uh, is this going to be any better view? Not really. Not really. 
And apparently this field, this particular tractor doesn't have, um, doesn't have plow specs. So that's actually kind of good. Oh, there we go. So let's go nice and slow here. And apparently we missed a little bit there. Ha! Huh. Like I said, don't plow very often, so let's make sure we can get these two fields. So I'm doing it nice and slow. This is the only part I probably do slow, is just because I want to make sure we uh, we get as straight a line as possible between these two fields. And we're already not straight, basically. That's not too bad, actually. Not too bad at all, if I do say so myself. Especially considering how often I plow. Alright, so let's see if I can remember this. So we went this way, so we need to go towards the inside. Alright, so let's rotate the plow here. I have to be careful here. Because if I'm not careful, I'm totally gonna like make a, make a little bit of a <laughs> make a little bit of a, a, a field in the middle of nowhere here. Alright, let's see if we can't get this Let's, let's close this hut. We don't need this open right now. Let's make it nice and pretty here. There we go. Actually, we have to back up a little bit further here. Man, this is a nice plow. It helps if you lower the plow first, Ian. Let's see if we can't get it to bite. Is it going to bite? There we go. Nice. I don't know if you I don't know how fast you'd actually plow. I'm not an expert by any means, so. Oh, what are we doing here? We're going farther away. I want to go closer. <laughs> this is what happens when I try and do this in cab. <laughs> stick stick to one stick to one uh one little party and maybe that'll work. So this is the one we're sticking to. Apparently that's that, that's the way I have to be able to follow it. That's terrible. So yeah, like I said, this is what I was thinking about doing. I was like, you know what? Um, well, I'm missing some. No. Yeah, apparently I can't do this from in cab without missing stuff. There we go. I think it's just the way it works because if I turn, oh, if I turn to try and get on the line better, it'll actually, uh, I'll actually miss a little bit. Anyways. Oh yeah, I should probably stick this guy. And there we go. Set him up properly here. Is he still driving? Good. Or he's still running, I should say. There we go. Is he gonna run into the wave of everything else? Nope, we should be okay. Alright, here we go. Let's get back to plowing here. So yeah, I figured I was like, you know what? Like this is the this is the best thing I can come up with. Instead of getting a big a uh, field far away, I was like, I'm gonna do a little bit of plowing. Um, instead a little bit, you know, just makes, uh, makes our fields a little bit nicer, a little bit bigger here, so. A little bit faster. Don't want to go too fast, but a little bit faster. So yeah, I was like, yeah, this could be an interesting thing to mix the two fields together, because we don't normally bring these two fields together, but if we are farmer, we could do this. Why not? Why not indeed? So this is, this was my solution. Oh, let's wait for that guy to go. This is my solution to not being able to buy a field far away, so hope you guys appreciate it. So we actually have this field to to harvest. We're going to harvest that field as well. Might as well. We own it now. I totally feel comfortable plowing or cultivating or not cultivating, harvesting. Holy moly. <laughs> harvesting a field I own now, so that's one of the benefits there. Oh my goodness, really? Tisk tisk, Mr. Courseplay Tractor. Tisk tisk. This is why you should always do it yourself if you can. Because apparently, Courseplay is not going to solve all your problems, like in this scenario right here. And he's totally going to like get right in the way as soon as I, uh, as soon as he gets below 80%. Watch this. There you go. So now he's totally going to get all up in my grill. Yep. Uh, there we go. That should be okay now. I think. I think he's got the right. Right. 
Yeah. So that's always a problem when you first load into the game and you don't set that up a little bit there. He'll run to the tractor a little bit before he does anything else. Kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyways, let's finish up this plowing here. Nice. So we're gonna... We did have a road here, as you can see, but we're gonna take this road out and make it all into a field. Then we'll have one big field, one nice big field to work with instead of a, a smaller field here. And I think this is a good choice for us. Um, like I said, unfortunately we couldn't buy a field that's far away, so because of that, this was the next best thing. Alright, let's line it up here. So I, as you can see, uh, we are going to miss a little bit of the field, but not, not too much. So, let's see if we can't get this nice and slow. So, one of the other thoughts I had was, um, oops, totally mucking this up. Uh, one of the other thoughts I had was taking out this tree right here as well. Um, and taking out that tree right there. Because, you know, if we were a farmer, we could take out a tree if we wanted to, right? Um, so I was thinking about taking that tree out and cutting it down like this across, but this will work. This one's actually a bit better, probably, because it's a square in this scenario, at least. This is me driving really, really slow, so I don't screw it up too much. Right? That's the idea, at least. Alright, let's... Did we miss any bits? Yes, that's what we did. It's funny, I have to be careful because if I turn one way, it'll turn away. If I turn the other way, obviously it... <laughs> it throws, it's throwing me off, I don't know why. But it's definitely throwing me off a little bit here. I'm trying to make it look nice. It's not working out the way I wanted it to. This isn't a push plow, is it? No, that would be kind of funny if it was. I don't think it's a push plow, that would be a little embarrassing. Here I am. No. <laughs> that would have thrown me off. So this is a push plow. That would have been really funny. <laughs> oh man, recording a whole episode and be like, hey guys, I uh, doing a little bit of plowing today, and then turns out the whole episode I was using the plow incorrectly. Which is still could be the case by all means, but at least in this scenario it's supposed to go on the back of the tractor, not the front of it. There we go. Nice. So we can touch that up with a little bit of grass. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, let's finish off the rest of this here. Uh, let's turn the sides towards the inside there. Finish up the rest of this plowing. Wait for that combine turn around there. So yeah, this is actually a nice little chunk of uh, chunk of land we're gonna add to this. So now that we own both of these fields, I was figuring, you know what? What? What the heck? Might as well. So. Yeah, a couple of people having some comments about the upcoming seasons. A lot of people suggesting various maps for uh, the upcoming season after the Glen Malure farm. I'm definitely excited for it. I think what I'm going to do is going to send out an email tonight or tomorrow morning, uh, sending out a vote uh, for what maps you'd like to see. Um, because I got a lot, of, getting a lot of different suggestions on various maps, and um, curious to see what the majority of people say. But, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I think it might be Iron Horse, but I don't know. I know uh, NA Modding is coming out with a new map soon. Uh, there was a video of it not too long ago, but I don't know when it's supposed to come out yet. Apparently it's like an, a bit of an addition to... Uh, a bit of a an addition to the uh, Spring Hill farm map, um, apparently. So I've been told, at least. It's kind of like, I don't know. Apparently, it works for small f small farms and build or small fields and big fields, so kind of a, a bit of a combination of the two of them. So, in, in that regards, I guess it could fit both styles. So, what I could do, actually, now that I think about it, is I could wait till that map comes out. And uh, oh, let me think about this for a second. Am I? Uh, is that good? Right at the end of the field there. Let's raise that up here. Perfect. Yeah. So what I could do actually is I could. Um, I don't know if it'd work out though. Is I could do something like having um, 
Give me a second here. I really need to think doing this because I'm so nervous because uh, I would nervous maybe isn't the right word. Um, but what's happening is I'm so concerned that I'm going to screw it up somehow. Um, not screw up plowing, but make the field not where I want it to be, basically. So that's what I'm concerned about. There we go. Yeah, and it, like, what I th just thought about was I could do something like I could record, you know, two separate seasons almost on the same map. Um, just because the way they're saying you can play the map is like you can play it with a small machinery or large machinery, it's your choice sort of thing. So that's a that random idea. Um, I kind of like having two different maps though. It changes things up a little bit. Keeps it interesting and whatnot. So I don't know. So it kind of appeals to everyone's personal preferences. I know some people prefer, you know, big maps and people prefer small maps. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. It all works out. All right, nice. I don't know what time it is. It looks like it's getting late. Sun's going down over there. Nice. I hate the fact that he's missed like chunks now. Oh, well. Can't do much about that. I was gonna use the the case for this, but I was like, yeah, you know what? That might be a little overkill for this small little plow here. I originally had a plow that you could, um, that what you could do with it is you could actually just, um, it was kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's a square plow, basically. So, basically, instead of it being like this style of plow where it's kind of like in a long angle like that, it's basically a, uh, a rectangle or square that you pull be that you push, push, pull behind you. Um, so the nice thing about that was the fact that it was really easy to make fields, just because you knew exactly where it was going to be going. Whereas like stuff like this, you know where it's going, kind of. There we go. Yeah, but actually in this scenario, having a plow spec would actually probably would have been a bit better. And I know some of you are going to say, well, Ian, if you had gotten the uh, the Ago John Deere, you would have had plow spec. This is true, but then we wouldn't have another field, so then I wouldn't be plowing at all, right? Oh, choices. But yeah, the amount of silage I got off that one big field, field one, is just ridiculous. We ended up getting like 800,000 liters, basically, off that one field. Like, how crazy is that? That is a just ridiculous amount of silage. But it's definitely paid off. Like, I don't... We, like, we spent like, I don't know, what, $500,000, and how much money do we have now? $45,000 already, so that just gives you an idea how much money you make off from that. And I'm, I'm assuming our pigs are, yeah, so we have 80 pigs again, so now we have another $8,000 we can make. So just gives you an idea of how much money you can really make in this game if you, um, if you put a, like, everything, like all the mechanics together in the game. Like right now, I'm only doing... Um, I'm only raising. Oh, when you get that little bit there. Ah, there we go. Did I get it? Let's just check here. Looks like we did. Um, like I'm only doing a small portion of what you can actually do in this game. Like, of course, you can do stuff like, um, like you could have all the animals. Strange little note about animals. Um, I actually haven't got any wool yet from <laughs> my sheep. I don't know why that is. Maybe sheep are broken on this map or something? I don't know. Alright, so let's line her up again. Nice. Ah, oh, of course, look at that. Got too excited there. Ah, jeez. The words of UC, jeez. Alright, anyways, too late now. Let's get this done. <clears throat> Almost done here. Not too bad. Yeah. I don't know. You probably wouldn't be plowing. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you would. Plowing late at night. I'm not sure what the, when the best time to plow is. All I know is it's probably not when it's wet like it is in some places in Ontario right now. Super, super wet just because we got lots and lots of rain and whatnot. You're in the way. What are you doing here? He wants to turn around. Let him turn around. There we go. There we go. Jeez. 
Anyways, sorry, that was me thinking. I don't know why it must. It's getting hot here, like in the um, where I am. It's getting hot, like hot for me right now. Feels like comparison to what winter felt like. This it's only like 20 degrees Celsius, something like that, right now. But it feels so so hot um, in comparison to what I've been used to the last little while. Just because it has been, it was a colder winter, I suppose. So for whatever reason, it like the temperature raise has gone up a little bit, and I just feel like. It's super, super warm. It's ridiculous. Oh ah, well. So what we will probably do is, let's just finish this up. Pay attention here for a second. There we go. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna harvest this field right here. This is what wheat it looks like. Yeah, it looks like wheat. Let's just take a quick peek here. What is that? Yeah. Uh, so we'll probably harvest the wheat. So the time's going really fast just because um, with the BGA, the way it works is basically is that uh, if you, oh, totally missed that. If you, um, if you don't set time a little bit quicker, it won't process the material fast enough, so you won't be able to sell it continuously like I am doing right now. So that's the reason for the time acceleration, because normally uh, we're not, uh, I'm not running anything at this time, but well, is there a work light in the back? Oh, there is. There we go. Might as well use the work lights here. I think it's the first time. Someone asked me a while back if I should, if I could do some night farming. So here you go. I guess this is a little bit of night farming for you. Oh, that's a combine. You gonna have enough space to get past there, buddy? Yeah, that's a quite a bit of space we got between these two fields now. Enough for our combine to turn around right there. Nice. That is excellent. Excellent. So it seemed like everyone really liked the um, the silage episode from last from la or from last last episode. Uh, a lot of people really thought that was cool having the whole setup like that. And a lot of people told me that um, the GMC, as long as I hit number four, I'll be able to maintain the same speed as the combine. Um, you know what? Let's do a little test. I'm not sure if this tractor or this truck will actually do that. And the reason why I'm not sure about it is because it has, um, or say it had what they call a, dy a dynamo, sh dynamo shift or dyna shift. So basically it would, uh, you had to manually shift gears for this, but I've changed it so it doesn't have that anymore. So it doesn't do that. Let's turn the lights on here. Uh, all right, let's try this out. So people, everyone suggests said that if I press key four, I will maintain the same speed as the combine. All right, so I'm gonna line myself up here, key four. That's an awful fast for key four, isn't it? Let's try that again. All right, so now I'm kind of behind him. Let's hit key four here. Yep, definitely not working. And like I said, that's probably, that's one of the reasons why, um, I think it's mainly because it used to have the dyna, dyno shift on here. Um, and because of that, it uh, I don't think that works properly. <clears throat> that's the only reason why. We'll try once more. All right, let's try that one more time. So again, this is key one, really, really, really slow. And let's hit key four. Let's just see how this works out. Going to be able to do it. Uh, that's a little fast. That's definitely not the speed of the combine. So, so there you have it. That's what happens. So this track does not actually work with people telling me to do key four. So there you go. There's a little test for you right there showing you that if I hit key four, it does not work. It goes faster than the combine, basically. So I'm behind the combine now and I totally hit key four. I was just looking down, making sure I hit it. And that's how fast it goes. So there you have it. And it might be because, I think part of the, part of the reason might be because, let's try this. This is gonna be the second test here. So I'm just gonna hire a worker here. And maybe that's the reason why. So let's just see if it is. Because he was on course play, he was on a hired worker, so maybe that's the reason why, we don't know. 
So this is the last test and I'll end the episode, I think. All right, so here we are beside the combine once again. I hit key four. And driving too fast again. Nope. So there you go. Key four does not work with this combine. Just so you guys know. I wasn't sure if it would work that way. I know that actually works with uh, vanilla stuff, but I wasn't sure if it would work with this, with the stuff I'm using here. So, as you can see, that truck did not work as intended. Just to give you an idea. All right. So there you go, folks. That's the end of this episode. A little bit of plowing. Apparently, me not being able to think properly with the heat. We're getting hotter out here. 20 degrees in reality is not very hot. To be honest with you, but it feels really hot. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. My name is Ian Rops. This has been Farming Simulator 2013. And we're playing on Central Kansas. All right, guys. Catch you later.